Fair so, enough. so how long have you been performing now? I know, I know that you've been acting for at least the last probably what eight to ten years, if not a little more than that. But how, how long have you been doing this now? Uh, I got paid for it the first time when I was sixteen, so half my life. Wow, very cool. And what would you? What advice would you have, especially to somebody who's maybe in their mid to late teens who is wanting to break out? in this business, not just as an actor or actress, but as a full-blown performer. What what advice would you have for them? Buy my book. <laughs> <laughs> Available on Amazon.com, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, I talk about it. I have a whole chapter on how to get famous or infamous and, you know, how to, how to navigate Hollywood a little bit and then how to also realize it's time to drown the kitten in the bathtub like when it's not working out and how to just be somebody's plus one and be happy with that, you know, because... A lot of times, it's not going to work. <laughs> so you need to be ready for that. Is there you need to be ready to hear no a lot. Agreed. As somebody who is uh, in radio. <laughs> yeah, we, we hear no. Actually, I just heard no right before you called. Yeah, we've been <clears throat> told our whole, no our whole lives, and that's how we ended up in radio, right? <laughs> Either that or we've got the faces that were not made for TV. No. You decide. I was just going to say my podcast is going to be called The Face for Radio. <laughs> that is actually what I was going to ask. Is if, if, Are you going to break out into any new mediums like podcasting or anything like that? Yes. Excellent. I love podcasting. This year is going to have a lot of different things happening. Excellent. Well, you are like one of the most diverse performers I've ever talked to. That's pretty cool. It's just that I get bored really easy. Yeah. Hey, sometimes boredom is a great... A great way to get the creativity flowing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just don't want to do the same thing over and over. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way. That's why I've worked in, I think, every radio format you can work in. Mm-hmm. If you can go for everything except rodeo and porn. <laughs> <laughs> How about rodeo porn? <laughs> hmm. Dangerous. That sounds interesting. I may, I, I, if I Google that, I already know what I'm going to find. So I just, I better get that out of my mind right now. All right, so Willem is going to be out at Club Pink this Sunday night. Of course, Club Pink is Lubbock's sexiest nightclub. I bet you didn't know that. I did. Well, now you, now you do. It really is. It's Lubbock's sexiest nightclub. Of course, pre-sale tickets right now at showclicks.com. And anything else that you have, Miss Renee? Uh, there is a Chick-fil-A across the street. <laughs> FYI. You know how they get their meat so tender? <laughs> Uh-oh. They're so good in pickle juice. Oh. I can believe that. Yeah, I showed uh, Renee your uh, chow down at Chick Fil A video. She had not seen it before. <laughs> and it stands the test of bad taste and time. <laughs> oh, that is just. And I just, uh, like I said, if I'm having a bad day, just turn on one of your videos and poof, everything's. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, glorious. Great to hear. Well, Willem, we appreciate you being on here so much, and we are looking forward to seeing you this Sunday night out at Club Pink. Anything uh, you want to tell our, our fabulous listeners before we let you go? No, I mean, there's got to be a historical marker of interest around there somewhere. I'll be able to find the club, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna get you taken care of. All right, Willem Belli, thanks for joining us so much this morning, and we will see you Sunday night. No problem. See you.